Based on the reaction to my last video, I can tell that some of you either A, never played Pokemon Pinball, or B, never got to the Mewtwo bonus stage if you did. In which case, you know, I have the following things to say. You either A, like the Mewtwo bonus stage music, or B, you're wrong. So that's how I pretty much feel about that. But I figured, you know, it'd be kind of cool to show off for the first video. I'm going to be using it again uh, a little bit more efficiently in this video, as you guys will be able to see. But I'm actually going to be up against a Lost World with Trainer Lock. Now, Lost World in itself is kind of scary because I do need one in the Lost Zone as in it is in order for this uh, deck to function properly. So I'm kind of at a handicap right off the bat just based on how this deck works. But turns out I only get the one Mew on this hand. I also put a couple of experience shares in this deck because the idea I have is to put one on a Mewtwo and then as the Mews start dying I get to siphon energy off of the uh, the Mews as they die and put them onto Mewtwo. Unfortunately the idea as good of it uh, as good of an idea as it actually is it actually turns out to be glitched so that doesn't end up happening even though there are a couple of situations where Mews die as one's equipped on a Mewtwo. Um, I'll show this off as they happen in the future. But in case you're unfamiliar with Trainer Lock once Vileplume gets up you are not allowed to use item cards and that's not good so he's kind of taking advantage of this stuff right now i can see that he's got a uh i can see gengar and stuff i don't see lost world which is pretty interesting yet i do see a gengar which is what that's for but um yeah we're just kind of waiting to see what he does uh, he puts down a smoochum now ordinarily i wouldn't have a huge problem with this but you'll see that there's a scenario coming up in a couple of turns that automatically makes the smoochum my main target now what that does is it lets you switch an energy from one pokemon to another one and that's just gonna be really 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 annoying but for now he uses up almost all the cards in his hand decides to go ahead and go for the juniper to get rid of the professor oak um, you know, also a good play. Gets him a couple extra cards as well. Um, what does he have? He has two Ghastlies, two Oddishes, and a Smoochum. Uh, I'm gonna put a Psychic Energy on Mew first off, just so that way I don't risk, you know, not drawing into another Psychic Energy, even though I have plenty. Uh, for now, looking at my hand, got a decent amount of things. Gonna put down another Mew, gonna put down the Mewtwo as well. Uh, I did get a third, uh, Mewtwo courtesy of, oh man, what is his name? I'm having trouble remembering it, but I'll put it in the description. And let me tell you, this deck, I love this deck now that it has three, because if one of them ends up being prized, I still have one to play with and one to toss into the lost zone. Um, if two end up being prized, you know, that's a little bit more you know not likely to happen but it still kind of works out pretty good uh i do go for the level ball and get the cleffa into play but i'm not going to put down the cleffa because uh the smoochum's out and what it'll end up doing is it'll move energy onto the cleffa and that's just kind of annoying oh also the one the guy gave me was a full art and i i just fling that one in just because it kind of looks cooler to be there on the field i don't know i don't know i like my regular ones on the bench and then the full art just there just giving the rest of my muse x ball so that's kind of cool um let me see what we got going on right now. So he got a lot done in the last turn, which kind of scares me. And he's also got a fresh new hand as well. I only got the psychic energy before I had to refresh my hand. And um, he's, you know, just going to evolve his ghastly into a haunter. Turns out that's all he can do with that hand. And um, I'm really scared of Vileplume getting set up, truthfully. If that does get set up early enough, that's going to shut me down. Because I'm going to need PCOMs and stuff to get the Rots line out as soon as possible for this deck to be pretty successful. Since Ghastly actually happens to be dark, uh, weak to Dark and not to Psychic, that actually will give me a little bit more trouble. Since a lot of... Uh, a lot of ghost types, you know, being psychic in the TCG are actually going to be weak to that. But um, uh, it turns out he just shifts an energy off of my Mew and onto my Mewtwo. I don't really mind either way, since what I can do is I can actually just go ahead and put a DCE on Mewtwo and then just be ready to attack. I don't remember what I end up doing, uh, but since I flung that, uh, that Mewtwo into the Law Zone, I can put the DCE on anything. And, uh, you know, any one of these three Mews and they'll all be ready to start X-Balling. But uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and put the Cleffa down, decide to retreat, hope he stays asleep for one turn. That way he doesn't shift around the energy onto the Cleffa. Since Cleffa does not need the energy, everything else does. That's obviously where he would put it. Um, for now, I do draw a couple of energies. He does not wake up. Um, it's not really common to be running switches in this deck uh, of his, you know... Well, I don't really run switches in Lost World just because everything tends to have a cheap retreat cost. You'd want to keep Oddish on the bench anyway. So I'm a little glad that he's asleep. He's going to stay asleep for a little bit. But it turns out he's got a lot of ends. And it, I don't really like this hand, to be honest, anyway. So you can just go ahead and do that. But draw into a catcher. I believe I draw into a second catcher as well. So what that lets me do if Smoochum stays asleep is uh, it lets me catch her out to something and then catch her back into Smoochum just to wake it up so I can actually do damage to it and take it out. Because I don't care if everything else is getting set up. I don't have a lot of Pokemon in this deck anyway, so if he's going to do anything, it's going to have to be Curse Drop. Uh, if he tries to hurl stuff, not a big deal. 
Uh, I think I'm only running like 12 or 14, 12, 13 or 14 Pokemon in this deck anyway. But here's the Pokemon collector. I'm going to get myself Ralt, Mew, and Mewtwo EX. Uh, turns out I only have one Ralt in my deck. Or, you know, maybe I had something else. I wasn't really paying attention. Or maybe it was just one more. It was one more Mew or one more Ralt. I think it was just one more Mew because I already have all of them. Uh, I totally just spaced on that last turn. I don't know. I have no idea what happened. It went a little bit fast, truthfully. But kind of waiting for him. Just obviously going to put down that last Ralt. And then I believe uh, Catcher out. And then, you know, just do that thing I was talking about a couple turns ago just to get something. I don't really care what I end up picking because I'm just going to end up bringing the Smoochum back in anyway. Uh, don't really want to shuffle out my hand either. I'll keep Cleffa there for now. And then the Mewtwo that's ready to X-Ball can do 40 damage. But I'm actually going to go ahead and Pecom out. Uh, I believe I decide to Pecom out my Mewtwo for a Kirlio right now just on the off chance that he does get Trainer Lock up as soon as possible. I don't want to be locked in and uh, have that happen. So... Uh, Smoochum's down, and that nets me my first prize of the game. Since he's running Lost World, it won't actually be going for prizes at all. It'll be just going to hurl things into the Lost Zone. And then go for Lost World. Now, he does a lot of hand shuffling, which is, you know, the main thing that surprises me, that he doesn't actually end up drawing into Lost World so soon, since I probably would have had it by now, or I would have had my, at least, Gengars up by now, at least a loaded bench. So maybe he's getting some bad hands. I don't really know what's happening. I don't know if he's running a deck structure similar to mine. It turns out I actually fought Lost World, I think, like three games before this. That one was really good. I definitely regret not recording that. But uh, I st decided to start recording, and then this one ended up happening. So uh, this deck does pretty good, and I figure I'll play with it a little bit more today. But uh, I'm actually going to switch over to one of my other decks, and then that'll be what I have lined up for the week. Uh, this will probably be uploaded on Tuesday, and then I'll use a different deck for Thursday, and then you guys will be all satisfied, and then if I have time... Uh, I'll just pick a random one for Saturday, and that's what I have lined up. So, uh, he decides to hurl my Kirlia with Gengar, and that's pretty bad. So, thankfully, I do have a Pcom, and he didn't get Trainer Lock set up. So, what that gets lets me do is it lets me look for my other Kirlia, just for, you know, a big, huge fuck you to that guy. <laughs> uh, don't run Rare Candies in this deck for now, because, as I mentioned in my last video, it still doesn't work. So, I'm going to put the extra Psychic Energy on Mew. And do I oak out? I'm really hesitant to oak out because I don't want him to hurl anything else, but I want to get that Mew out of my hand just on the off chance that I need it. And it pays off big because I don't have any Pokemon in my hand whatsoever. And that is actually going to go ahead and let me X ball for 80. I think I'm thinking about junk arming, but I don't really remember why and for what. Oh, you know what? I want to take out the Oddishes. That makes sense. That makes sense. And it turns out that the Oddishes are not weak to fire, despite being a grass type, because they're part poison. They're one of the few grass types that are weak to the uh, the psychic type in the TCGO. So because of that, this X-Ball, this X-Ball is going to do a ridiculous amount of damage as soon as he lets me pick a move and then just catch it in, and then that'll kind of work out. Um, I'm still waiting for Gardevoir. I don't know why... Uh, yeah kind of slow but because my Kirli's in there I do have the option to go for Psychic as well but X-Ball will just do a decent amount of damage anyway so there's 120 to the Oddish and then it turns out I pull another switch good that I have it because if his Haunter gets enough energy to try to sleep poison stall a little bit in case he wants his Gengar to get some more energy I can just you know do a double switch just use switch and then just use retreat and then that'll work out but for now uh my Battle plan, I suppose, is to probably put down another Psychic Energy on one of the Mews, and then hopefully, uh, you know, Professor Oak out for a Gardevoir. I think I'm only running two in this deck, and I'm really glad he decided not to hurl that uh, instead of something else. He's going to use Alpha Lithograph, uh, one of the variations of it, which lets him look at my hand, instead of using Mr. Mime. Now, I would be using Mr. Mime just because you get to do that once per turn, but it shows you your hand as well, which isn't really that bad anyways, since even if there is stuff in your hand, there's not really much you can do to stop unless you run ends. Uh, he decides to shuffle me out into a new hand. Uh, I can't shuffle out my hand anymore, and on top of that, he uses Lost Remover to remove the... Uh, the double colorless off my use, Mew, so I lose a little bit of attacking power. But I do have another double colorless in my hand anyway, and I also have some psychic energies as well. So here's the experience share thing I was going to talk about. Uh, if for whatever reason he actually manages to kill off that Mew uh, somehow, uh, then what would happen is one of those psychic energies as it went to the Lost Zone would go onto my Mewtwo and it would just siphon energies. But I believe it's either still glitched or none of the things that they end up doing in this game or the last game end up counting towards that energy moving. Or maybe I'm using it wrong. I'm pretty sure that's how you use it. You put it on something on the bench and then when active shit dies, that's what ends up happening. 
Uh, for now, he uses Seeker, very popular option in Lost World since it gets to put stuff back in the hand. Uh, I decided to put a Mew. I don't really end up caring uh, since I do have these two, and then I probably have a Revive floating around somewhere. I also have another Mewtwo EX in the deck as well. Um, I believe, I want to say I actually Pecommed out uh, one of those Mews, so I could go ahead and level ball for it. But for now, I'm just going to go for another X-Ball. That should be enough to take him out. I don't want to go for Side Drive just because I'm running a little low on energy. Uh, well, not really, I guess. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Anyways, uh, three prizes down, three to go, and he's not really making a lot of progress in terms of things in the Lost Zone. All he's gotten, I gave him, you know, a hand by putting one of my Mewtwo's there. And then uh, it turns out that he gets a Mew, and then he gets a Kirlia. So three out of six... Um, according to his deck standards, we're tied. But he doesn't have a Gengar up as I pull my Mewtwo EX uh, into my hand. So he'd be able to hurl that if he really wanted to. I don't really care either way since I do have uh, Mewtwo and I have that and then I have other things. Turns out a top deck of Switch, which is ex exactly what I wanted right now. Uh, it'll let me put down a... Uh, and energy, well, no, that won't let me do anything. It'll let me switch out, and then I can double switch right now. But I'm going to go ahead and Professor Oak just to get some of that shit out of my hand. And on top of that, I draw into Gardevoir, which is, like, the best thing I could have ever asked for. Um, definitely going to involve that Kirlia, and that doubles all psychic energy on my side of the field. And then another thing that not a lot of people know about Pcom, I don't know if it's a glitch or it's just a play you're allowed to do, but it really helps against Lost World since you can use Pcom to just put something back in your deck and not take anything back. So that reduces my hand size by two, and it also just means that he's not going to be able to snipe anything out with Gengar, uh, even if he were to get one set up. For now, um, I'm going to go ahead and go for the X-Ball because the Psychic Energy is doubled. Uh, that would mean two on me, two on him. That would put it at 80 damage. Also get a double color. I think I got that double colorless or the revive. Whatever the case, I have a double colorless uh, in my hand that'll enable that third mew on the bench to be able to X ball as well. Uh, the one all the way on the left is able to uh, side drive if I really need to. But he's going to go for Rare Candy right now, and it's very late in the game for him to be able to do this, which is kind of unfortunate that he didn't get this set up sooner. I don't know. I would have made that my first priority personally. That would have shut me down really quick. Uh, but now that Gardevoir's up, he's not able. Uh, now that he has Trainer Lockup, he's not able to catch out Gardevoir to uh, stop the doubling. Uh, he's not really able to do much else, to be honest. He can't Pcom out uh, to evolve his Ghastly or anything like that. So the fact that he kind of got Trainer Lock up this late in the game is unfortunate because he wasn't able to stop his stuff earlier, and he kind of just shot himself in the foot for any hopes of doing anything at this point. But he sends an Oddish, I guess, to die. Um... It's whatever. It's basically my game at this point. I have uh, three things on the field able to X-Ball, and I believe I have a message. Um, let me see. That Mew in the front is able to X-Ball. The one on the left is able to X-Ball. The one right there is able to X-Ball. And then if I get another energy on me too, just X-Balls everywhere. So uh, that one, speaking of X-Ball, that takes out that one. I can put a Psychic Energy on the Mewtwo, and then we got four X-Ballers on my side of the field. Uh, he doesn't have any energy. But I should be able to take him out. I should be able to take out that Ghastly with the Mew all the way on the left. Or, you know, I can take out... Actually, I can't take out his Vileplume. I can take out his Ghastly right now. And I believe that's what ends up happening for the Ging. And I, he just puts a damage counter on that one. So, gonna just, I suppose, be a dick for the last turn. And just put an extra energy on that Mew. And then just go ahead and do it for the win. I could have done, gone for the side drive, but I felt like being fancy. So that's the game. A uh, little bit of a quicker one. Didn't really work out his way. I don't know why he didn't get trainer lock up sooner if he wasn't able to. I suppose that's the situation there. But that's the game. So if you guys enjoyed it, welcome. Leave a like rating, uh, comment, subscribe, do your thing. I plan on running my grass deck or my electric deck for the next game. It's been a while since I've run either one of those. They're very light decks thanks to level ball and i really have a lot of fun using them so uh i suppose you guys can leave a comment let me know which deck of those two you want to see next that's kind of what i feel like playing right now and um yeah that'll do it for this video hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time